Today we have Marco Molino from the Mario Kensington. When you first started, you started, well, your father started. I, I, I kind of grew up in the family business, uh, which my father started uh, way back uh, before I was born in 1965. He was one of the um, founder uh, partners in a um, small restaurant at the time, which was called Pizza Express. So this is the restaurant that my father started. He brought the idea from Italy because prior to that there were no pizzas in the whole of the UK. It was literally the first introduction of pizza into the UK. And this was through um, his partnership with uh, Peter Boizo and they created uh, pizza, pizza Express. Together they opened uh, seven restaurants and uh, the Mario Kensington in Gloucester Road this was the seventh uh, Pizza Express um, before my father uh, parted ways with his business partner Peter Boizo and he continued to expand the, the concept with, uh, with my father's blessing obviously and my father kept the Pizza Express in uh, Gloucester Road which is now the Mario Kensington. Our most famous client obviously um, was uh, Princess Diana. Yeah. Uh, she used to come in and um, it's very well known that the, that the boys, uh, when they're approximately five or six years old, um, they, their favorite food was pizza. Yeah. And they used to sneak in with, with mum and um, enjoy uh, our pizzas. And looking at the restaurant now, because you've just recently refurbished, mm. um, and it's kept its style. It's very much um, kept its uh, yeah, I, I, we, we've, we've refurbished the restaurant, but we've done it in an old style uh, to match the, um, the, the period of the building. Um, the building was built uh, approximately 1850, um, so the interior we've had uh, done to match that era. So um, you can see a lot of um, features inside the restaurant which seem to be old authentic authentic old but they're actually brand new but they're made to look old from from that era that's great and, uh, yeah so i like I, I i'm not a contemporary person i'm a very sort of old school kind well, of person well you say that but you've just done your new kitchen and that's about as contemporary well as yes uh, <laughs> going on to our new project which is uh, we we bought a lovely um tuscan villa in um, in surrey actually <laughs> and we're opening a cookery school there where we will be teaching as a, as a day classes, um, various recipes from pizza to pasta, and we're going to have uh, guest chefs as well coming in, uh, some some not so famous and some famous, and all the uh, classes are going to be uh, logged on our on our YouTube channel for the guests to uh, view uh, at later stages. That's great, fantastic. Great project, very That's big project. Great. Uh, for catcher style pizza, which is uh, rather than uh, individual round pizzas, they are pizzas in a large tray which uh, have had time to prove so it gives like a slightly thicker uh, dough uh, very similar to uh, focaccia. So I'm just uh, opening up the, the pizza, uh, the pizza dough. I'm going to do a, a tray which is about this size and this will take four pizza doughs and I'm going to join them together. So that's one there. So we have to kind of make it, it make it square like that. So this is a pizza dough that we've made this morning at the restaurant and as you can see it's just proving nicely um, so these will be ready to go in our, in our pizza oven for lunch today. Uh, we're going to do a focaccia style and this is just leaving it in the pan for slightly longer for the, uh, the dough to rise and create a focaccia style catch a style pizza. So these are San Marzano uh, DOP certified tomatoes. You can see beautiful dark red color and very very dense. Um, the cheaper tomatoes they'll fill up the tin halfway with tomatoes and the rest of it they'll bulk it up with water. water. So you open the tin, you've got tomatoes swimming in the water. But this one, you open the tin, it's just thick tomatoes and we crush it by hand 
so we get this rough texture, not through a, a blender or a milli. We actually crush it by hand. You can either uh, put olive oil on it, and the, uh, the olive oil, or you can spray it with water. You can spray it with water and prove it. If you were doing a focaccia, which I'm going to do now, I'm going to do olive oil, rosemary, and then prove it. Um, spray it with water or any, any liquid which helps the, the dough to absorb the liquid and, and, and give life to the, to the yeast. You can do it without um, tomato, just put it in, but um, it won't give life to the yeast because the yeast needs uh, warmth and, and uh, humidity moisture. to moisture. Yeah. So this will come up, this will pop yeah. up quite nicely. Yeah. And then we just put our topping on and flash it in the oven. Right, so I'm going to do a nice chorizo uh, quarter here with jalapenos. I'm doing a nice Italian sausage. This Italian sausage actually is um, infused with um, fennel seed as well, as similar, well. similar to the... But this is a raw sausage, so you have to um, finish it off in the, in the oven. So we've got fresh oregano here as well, which we use a lot of. On, the, on our pieces, or as opposed to dry oregano. So on this one, I'm just gonna put um, margarita actually, which is just mozzarella, tomato, and basil. Okay, I've just done the four different uh, pizza toppings here. We've got lovely Italian sausage with gorgonzola cheese. We've got Spanish chorizo with jalapenos. We've got a Napoli style pizza with olives, capers, and anchovies with fresh oregano. We've got the classic margarita pizza here. So it's been proving in the uh, proving drawer, just to give it a bit of aeration. So now we're going to uh, pop it in the oven. You should never eat pizza on a, on a ceramic, on a plate, because the, um, the ceramic will cause the base of the pizza to become soggy and, and uh, lose its crispiness. So we've got a nice colour here underneath, nice sort of golden, golden brown colour. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put the pizza on here, and we're going to cut it into little squares. And this will let the pizza breathe. Oh, fantastic. This will let the pizza breathe. So this is a focaccia style pizza. And, and gorgonzola. Is it hot? I, I, it's, 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 it's seriously hot. hot. So this is the uh, chorizo. This this one, I must say, if I was uh, critiquing my, my cooking, I would say that um, it's a bit wet. Um, but as long as it's cooked underneath and it's got nice colour, and the dough is nice and fluffy, you're not going to have that that bloated feeling where the, um, the dough continues to rise actually in, inside your stomach. Yeah, which, which sometimes it does. 